good look at the table right now as the two presidents at midfield. Barcelona actually on top with the head to head in their direction. A victory, a victory and a draw, but still the game in hand for Real Madrid. Can't assume the points, but it is an opportunity. Mark Andre Ter Stegen, stellar performance against the Merengues. It's a back three today. Mascherano on the right, Dini on the left. And almost a Bielsa like 3 3 3 1 if you're going to get in that position. Or the 3 3 1 3 with Messi pulling the strings. Up front, Paco Alcácer will slide into the middle with Suarez and Arda Turan around. This is an interesting lineup, and it's a roll of the dice from Luis Enrique. It really is. Five changes from the team that beat Real Madrid at the Santiago Bernabeu less than 72 hours ago. But the one man that was kicked all afternoon in that game is Leo Messi, the hero on the day, and he is one that Luis Enrique absolutely will not rest. Cristiano Ronaldo, a little bit later on, is being rested by Real Madrid, not the case for Messi. We see the experienced Sirigu in goal for Osasuna, a side that, like you rightly said, Phil, need a miracle in order to stay in La Liga this season. They need to get something today. If they lose, and if Leganes beat Las Palmas, it's curtains, and Osasuna get relegated. By the way, you saw that blank spot on the back line. That is a young Colombian by the name of John Steven Mondragon. The 22-year-old waiting, and Busquets in good position. How good is that from Busquets, though? Brilliant build-up from Osasuna to switch the play. Excellent from Sergio Leon, who's been so impressive this season. Here's Messi. And breaking through past the young Colombian. Messi, with help, doesn't need it. Lifting it over the goalkeeper, juggling it all the way, and Barcelona in front in the 12th minute. And just as Osasuna come out of their shell and attack for a first real time in the game it's Barcelona and the magic man himself Leo Messi running away with the Pichichi scores his 32nd goal this season and the crowd absolutely love it inside the camp now I am taking a look here it almost looked as though Messi as the Barcelona fans celebrate Classico style Looked like he might have been trying to find Paco. But then the ball just sets up for the chip. So quick. So smart. I thought he was trying to tee himself up just to lob the keeper. Was it ever in doubt, though? Absolutely not. Although Sirigu, could he have made himself bigger? Could he have charged harder? Questions will be asked. Fashion. Now, can they hold on? As you take a look, Barcelona in front by three with the tiebreaker. Blasted by Dini on his charge, deflected out for the corner. The one thing that that goal does, if they can hold or build, is assure they will still be a top La Liga at the end of the round regardless. Luca Dini, what a hit. A bullet of a strike, and he's up at 90 minutes if needed. But eventually, you got to get something out of those 90 minutes. Good run, Alcacer drops it back. Messi! And the right-footed blast goes high. He's human. Brilliant run. Excellent touch as well from Alcacer. And Messi just goes for it first time. Makes a meal of it, really. Difficult one to execute. He's a, I think he's a good player, no question about that. But is he a Barcelona player with the style that he has? As Messi. also soon to win it back, Messi wants it back, drives it just wide on the bounce, deflected away for the corner. Very close indeed. It's Barcelona once more winning the ball back higher up the field. And guess who? Lionel Messi. And that is inches. Takes a deflection to take it away from goal. Sirigu beating all ends up. Ball driven in, Turan, touched wide. Looked like it might have been Torres dropping back, but then one right back by Barca. Rakitic across! Oh, my! What a strike from the man in the spotlight! And boy, does Gomes respond! Unbelievable finish from Andre Gomes. Puts one in the back of the net for all the doubters out there. 
And that is a special, special strike with conviction. Great ball. I'll take it back if we can to watch <laughs> Busquets win the ball back right here. Gets it wide. Well worked. Rakitic inside and boom. Back of the net from Andre Gomes. Second goal of his Barcelona career. The first against his old Valencia side. And here met and curled into the corner and he could sense the frustration just drain away lifted by Mashadan oh and almost to the head of a diving Turan flag stays down too center backs Mondragon and Oye just completely confused perplexed by this one but he was on side that's a big time chance for Arturan. What a ball from Mascherano. Again, questions about what will happen with Mascherano in the offseason. Barcelona with a new boss. How much changes the half? And again, don't forget, at least to this point, gauntlet thrown and Real Madrid at Deportivo to follow. Osasuna setting the line at the 18. Does Messi go for goal? Instead, shipping it in. Flipped wide, slapped away by Sirigu. So close. Was it Alcácer again? An orthodox save from Sirigu, it must be said. Messi with the delivery. And there is Paco Alcácer. Penalty here as well. It's Torres. Oh and God. he deceives Ter Stegen. And that's caused a rumble around the Camp Nou. If they're going down, they are going down fighting. Well, he's got six goals this season, and that's his seventh goal. And you're right, Rob. He has totally sent Ter Stegen the wrong way. Ter Stegen was actually edging to his left, and he's put it to his right. That's a great free kick. Top, top class from Roberto Torres. <laughs> First shot on target is a goal for Osasuna. Great goal as well. Little dig in the ribs for Barcelona. Well, nice deception there, I have to say. And look, Petar. Okay. Rakitic. PK game brings it down on his chest. Rattle off the post. And Gomez has got his second. <laughs> He's emerging as the Barcelona hero tonight. An unlikely source. Listen, that's great. So he falls kindly. Let's look at it again. Teams off. Good chest control. What a good strike. And then another good finish from Andre Gomez. This is great skill for a centre-half. I think he's done really well there, Gerard Piquet. Unlucky not to score himself, but the most important thing is Barcelona get their two-goal cushion. And nobody's going to talk about the penalty instant now. Three-one. Full stretch. Here's Messi. Here is Messi. Tossing, teasing, oh, scoring! Oh, 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 oh. Rooney this evening, Zinedine Zidane won't have to give a team talk. He'll just have to point at the scoreline that he's developing here. Well, his finishing is absolutely emphatic here. He's gone to the left-hand side of the goal. He takes a touch, he cuts across left, and on another touch. And when he hits it, it's about six inches outside the far post. And it's curling all the time. Look at that. The curl of the ball just inside the post. No chance for Surigu. He knows exactly what he's got. 49 for the season for Lionel Messi. High rock test. Barcelona in total control. There's a question maybe of when they declare. Ball is played in. And comes towards it. And then Salcacer. He's on the score sheet. That's what he needs. Thoroughly deserved. Paco Alcantar who makes... A really good run, I think. Mascherano was in the, in the way at one stage, looking to get on the end of one as well. I'm glad to see him getting on the score sheet. He worked so hard. Sixth goal of the season, his fifth in the league. And well done, Paco Alcacer. There's the ball coming in. He's onside. And Mascherano gets in his way, but his first touch is good. And he knows exactly what he's going to do. It's an assist from Arda Turan. He dinks it over the advancing goalkeeper. Well, it has been a good night for those players who've been watching from the fringes. Gomez has got a couple. 
Thomas gets. Alcacer to Turin. Danny Suarez. Penalty. The referee felt it was a foul and judged it was in the confines of the area. And Merida knew as soon as he dived in what he did. His last goal was for Liverpool seven years ago. Why has he not been on penalties? <laughs> well, they've had a problem with penalty takers, and that has been the secret all of these years. Right. And they are having a party at the Cat New. Mascherano is on the score sheet. They can't quite believe they it. They can't keep a straight face. Everybody on the bench, Suarez, Messi, Luis Enrique, everybody on the pitch, except for us Asuna players. I've thoroughly enjoyed Mascherano taking the penalty and rifling it into the roof of the net. Great penalty kick. And he said, In all seriousness, you won't see a better penalty than that all season. No. And he said, I'm back. <laughs> After a seven year wait. I'm PK. Dennis Suarez. Grip ball. Alcacer between goalkeeper and defender. Rides the challenge. And Alcacer gets his second of the game. It's Barcelona beating, ain't too bad. Rob, that's a really well worked goal. Very well worked goal. And uh, I, I do, I said the earlier in the first half, he made some really good runs as a centre forward, Paco Alcacer, and he never got the service, never got the ball. Everything was good through Messi, but <laughs> that's a great run. He shows he's very alert, he's very astute. And he's taken the touch to take it round the goalkeeper, Sirigu. And look at his run. Defender running with him, but that's a fabulous ball. And he gets the touch around the defender and the goalkeeper. Mondragon tries to get a touch on it here. Does he get any sort of contact? I think he gets a little bit of contact, Mondragon, but not enough to stop Paco Alcacer taking control of the situation. And his first touch then round the goalkeeper opens up the angle, a second touch, and then it's a tap in. Excellent goal. Well, 7 1. Pretty emphatic, isn't it? A lot of his goals this season, one of his games this season have been as a replacement, but if I was his agent, I would be telling.